Hey guys, uh, it's Hoops again. So this is uh, another video we're going to make today on... Uh, I'm going to take my two boys, which you've met before. This is Kai. Hello. And uh, he's got his YouTube channel, which is called The Antidote. So I'll leave the link up uh, the top right here for his channel. Go check it out. He's got a gaming channel. And Jarvis, which you've probably seen on a few of my other videos, metal detecting and a few other uh, cool things. Mm -hmm. uh, so today I got up this morning and... Um, my cousin, one of my cousins invited me to go and get some rabbits and um, in Australia obviously you're not allowed to catch rabbits in snares, traps, things like that, you got to actually shoot them and, on property and I thought it would be a good idea to go and do another video um, showing the snaring, even though like I said it's illegal to do it but uh, my question to my son Jarvis um, was do you want to come and do it? I said what if it was a zombie apocalypse or something happened in the world where we couldn't get any food and you need to defend for yourself and he come up with uh reasons why you tell you want to tell him okay so say so if you want to know a zombie apocalypse there's three main things that you would want to do one is you would want to use like melee weapons not like guns because if you like once you fire like a really loud bang it's going to like attract a horde um a horde of zombies <laughs> and two you don't want to travel like in cars because you know obviously the engine mm -hmm. um and three you would want to make like a really really like secure um shelter okay like so my question to him was that i said what if we we're in a zombie and then he said that and i was like all right well how about i just show you how to do the snaring in case there is a shortage of food and he said his one was pretty much I'll just watch your video, Dad. And I said, well, it'd be better if you come with me so I can show you in person. I said, later on in life, when you're my age, you might be able to show your kids what we did together. So anyway, this is the video. We're going to go and uh, set up some snares. We're not going to catch any rabbits with them. I just want to show the kids how to set them, and then we'll take them down, and then we'll go home. But yeah, this is just a video on setting snares, catching rabbits. So we'll see you shortly. So these are the simple snares that we're going to show you boys. I got five with the camera and Jarvis here with me. So I've just carved out a couple of just some stakes. You basically you're going to just drive these into the ground right near the rabbit holes. And this is just a single strand bit of copper wire. So you'll see here you've just I've just twisted a loop at the bottom, and that runs through the wire. So I'll uh, adjust this to the right size, straighten it all up, make it nice and round. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll put it over the holes. If you want to shoot down here, Kai, you can see you can see a, a really uh, populated rabbit, rabbit warren in there. You can put one in there and then another one on the other side. So what we'll do is I'll just set up two for illustration purposes and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I've got this one set here, which we're going to try and lower over the front of this uh, hole here. And I'll show you what we do. So we want to put a stake as close to the hole as I can, but without it obviously going through the entrance. So I normally just sort of put them on an angle like this and uh, tap them in so they're nice and tight. And that way when the rabbit does get on it in the zombie apocalypse, it's gonna, it's gonna be stuck there by that stake. Right, so this wire is pretty forgiving and it's pretty flexible so you can just shape up mm. shape up your your snare and you want it about the size of a closed fist so sort of about that big the rabbits when they go in their hole they usually tuck their ears behind and like dart straight into the hole so they'll come in that and trip on it and it'll tighten up around them and yeah keep them keep them there so you want a nice nice shaped rabbit snare hole I'm going to get down as close as I can to the rabbit hole. Lower it down 
in front of the hole, right where their main entrance is that they're going to be running through. Like I said, with this wire, it's fairly forgiving, and you can adjust it to suit the hole where you need it. Uh, and another little little tip is you can get a little branch that's got a bit of a fork on it. Pull the stuff off it. There's our little fork that we want. So you can actually put this in the in the side. And then you can have that in position. So it will hold it where you want the loop to be held. You want it a couple about an inch or two off the ground so they basically jump straight up and into it. And that's how you'd want to set it. So basically that's it. You you would just set them go ping out a whole bunch of holes that you can find and um, yeah set as many as you can I suppose like that most rabbits have a front hole and a back hole so they'll either go in one and out the other or they'll just use the same route but if they're scared they'll come out the back one but that's pretty much it so we're gonna just um, take it down now because obviously like I said we're not gonna catch these rabbits but we know there are a lot of rabbits here so if we we're allowed to shoot in this area it'd be great but um, we've got property that we can catch some so we'll just uh, take them out and like I said it's exactly the same way as you put them in you're just going to pull that stake out of the ground and that's it pretty much just wrap it up put it in your bag take it with you uh, keep it in your survival bag things like that and like I said these are illegal to use so we're not we're not catching any rabbits like this today so I want to protect uh, the law and not show you things that are illegal so uh, this is just a simple way to catch rabbits if you are ever in need of surviving and uh, or surviving and yeah we'll go from there but that's it so I mainly want like I said mainly want to show my boys how to do it in an uh, emergency case maybe later on in life things get real bad in Australia um, at least they'll be able to go catch a feed and they can show their kids so that's it for, for uh, the video guys it was a nice quick one just wanted to show you it and yeah hope you never are in that situation but anyway now you know thanks cheers peace out